why would going through this be worth anything if that's all there was? Look, I want to say something, I don't know, that, could, that you could take it any way you want. But I'll tell you this, you need to have a, such a strong belief deep down that you need to understand that even if none of this was true, your life is measurably better believing in it anyway. Why? Because without it, you would just have death in front of you. There'd be no hope, no reason to get through the struggle, no uh, expectation of anything. So why even struggle if you know it's, it's futile? Because that's all, everything is futile. I mean, you know, Solomon says life in, in, without all that is chasing after wind. I mean, it's just nothing. So you might as well put all your effort into this, not only because it's true, just because <laughs> what's the alternative? To, to just futilely live life knowing it's of no point? But we have an expectation. We have a hope. You've, you've also tasted of the master. So you don't have to go to the, if, it, if it's true or not, you know it's true. You've tasted of the master. But I'm talking to those of you that are coming from nowhere and are still struggling. How do I believe in something that I really, well, have you tasted of the master? And maybe you have and I don't even realize you have because you're too stubborn and too miserable to even see how much the master's already done in your life to protect you from ultimate demise and, and, and some horrible things. Oh yes, horrible things happen to you, but you survived them. Those things could have killed you, ruined you, wrecked you, but here you are. And your life is changing because you've tasted of the master. But you have an expectation that others do not have. Because they just know, you might as well eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. And so if you're struggling, the manifold, the manifold, excuse me, manifold trials that you're struggling... How, will you, how would you get through those things? And you know people out there that are struggling and miserable because they have no hope or expectation. By the way, this happens in the body too because there are people in the body whose belief is weak and they sit there still and worry. And I counsel people all the time who are still absolutely 100% yielding to that spirit. The spirit of fear and doubt have no victory in their lives. I don't want to sound all Christian when I say that, but you need to have victory in your life. You have to have victory over that mindset that defeats everything. That defeated mindset. Now, I'm not saying victory like you've won the game, okay? If you're in a, uh, let's think of this as a long tournament. Not like one with like, you know, 32 or 64 teams. We're talking like, say, with thousands and thousands and thousands. You have to go through tier after tier after tier eventually to the winner. That means you have to have lots of victories to get to the final. But you're defeated. Every little battle you need to be looking at, I need to just have victory here. And that'll give me the energy, the excitement, the motivation to go forward knowing I had victory here to go to the next one. And build on it. And so look for those victories. You've had some already. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting here. None of you would be sitting here if you have not tasted of the master on any level. You didn't just randomly show up and say, hey, that looks like a building that might be cool to go to on a Saturday and spend six hours. <laughs> and so you recognize that there's a choosing. He chooses you and you choose him back. And that you have been set apart through that choosing and through your choice. Remember, it takes both. He chooses you, you have to choose back. You have to accept the choice. And that you have chosen to accept that setting apart onto obedience. Okay? Now, it's by the Spirit. Don't misunderstand that. Listen to the teaching on understanding the Ruach, understanding the Spirit. The kids are like, man, he's mentioning so many teachings. i got to write these all down. Okay, understanding the Ruach, you have to understand. You already are submitted to a spirit. Spirit of man, spirit of, uh, of the father, the spirit of the enemy, Hasatan, the spirit of disobedience, the spirit of fear. The spirit. There's lots of spirits out there. It's an intrinsic nature, whatever one you're feeding at. Which one are you being, you know, nursed on? What milk are you drinking? Is it the unadulterated word? Which is the spirit of a sound mind? Or are you drinking, you know, and nursing at the, at the breast of fear, doubt, whatever that is? Remember, it's talking about that you are a babe drinking of the milk. 
Think of it not just like we think of a baby bottle. They didn't have baby bottles back then. You were literally suckling at the breast of something. This is where you were getting your protection, your sustenance. Well, are you doing that in the unadulterated word? Or are you doing it at some other thing? 